Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In, I, it's been a while, at least for me, because it's actually the first video that I'm filming in 2023 because my wardrobe video and the Sylvanian Family's unboxing video, which you should go watch because it's kind of cute. That video, those videos were both born on the same day, which was like December 20, 29th or something. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you gotta get these out. <laughs> I was on a bit of a time crunch for that. But yeah, uh, it's kind of been a while for me. And I did explain in a community post where I've been, I was traveling all of throughout. I never travel, but for some reason through all of January, I've been on different trips. First, I was in New York, which we'll go over kind of briefly. Nothing, nothing really lowly to happen, but I guess I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit. <laughs> and then I went to San Francisco for Chinese New Year which I do every year when there's not a pandemic going on. <laughs> but yeah, so let's let's get all into that. So New York was pretty fun. I went to go see Phantom of the Opera before it closed because I'm a big Phantom fan. And that was basically the main reason for the trip. There was also the fact that I do have family over there. So, and I hadn't been since like 2011. So it's been like a really long time since I've been. They see my sister quite often, so I feel like my sister is closer to that side of the family than I am. And they, like, they all know Maya. They don't, they don't know Frankie. They don't know me. So it was nice to kind of see them. I was only there for four days, so it was a bit hard to squeeze in everything that <laughs> New York has to offer. It was a bit crowded. I didn't feel comfortable a lot of the time I was there, but thankfully, like, I did wear Lolita. I wore Lolita to the my Hanuli dress, my Hanuli Phantom of the Opera dress to go see the Phantom of the Opera, obviously. <laughs> I also went to the Museum of Broadway because I was like, I, all of Broadway interests me. I'm not just a Phantom fan, I promise y'all. Not just a Phantom fan. But yeah, I definitely, <laughs> it, it was a big fun experience, but yeah, there was nothing really Lolita about it. I did spend like over $200 on a teddy bear, which is back there, you can't see her, but she's she's flawless, she's gorgeous. I'll put some photos of them now. And I did go to the Vivian Westwood store because I did want to see at least if they, I didn't think they were gonna have, like, have any rocking horse shoes on sale, but I was kind of wondering if they maybe had like a pair to like actually like displayed anywhere in the store. They didn't, but. I don't know, it was still pretty fun. I was so tempted. There was a lot of the jewelry is still really gorgeous for Vivian Westwood. But yeah, that's pretty much as close as I kind of got to Lolita on the trip. And yeah, let's get into San Francisco because everybody wants to hear about the San Francisco trip because da da da, you probably saw the title of this video. We got brand, y'all. <laughs> so much brand. <laughs> so normally I always go to AP, but to this time, you know, since in my May trip from the last video, I went to both Baby and AP, which was another financial <laughs> decision. It's okay. We have Chinese New Year money and we got a big commission. I get commissions for selling memberships. For, and everybody, all the engineers came in to see Avatar, so I got so much commission. Thanks, Avatar. You took years off of my life, but at least I'm rich now. So, <laughs> but yeah, I I felt like I I could I could swing it. We can we're 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 only in town like once a year generally. Let's go big. <laughs> And so you probably think this time she bought a she bought a dress. Obviously this time. <laughs> no, <laughs> not this time, y'all. Not last time, not this time. I was tempted by one dress in AP, but we're going to talk about that in a sec. But yeah, like last time, let's we're going to transition. Let's talk about our experiences and show off our hauls. Woo! All right. So first, we are going to talk about Angelic Pretty, which <laughs> this bag, <laughs> this bag I brought with me. I <laughs> I, well, because they only give you like 
regular pink bags now. I'm like, this bad boy, this classic? Why did we stop this? Why did we stop this? So yeah, I I was kind of bringing old school vibes to AP. Not like old school Aaliyah, but old school like AP specifically. I wore Milky Chan the Fawn from 2009. And yeah, I had my Lyrical Bunny, which is 2011. My Pink Kutsu, which is also from 2011. A lot of my pieces were 2009, 2011. I was thinking, we're bringing it back. We're bringing it old school. So I... Uh, yeah, that was definitely the vibes I was trying to bring. Of course, my mom and my sister were with me, and I was kind of rushed through the store, rushed through the experience, because AP, you don't have to make an appointment currently, but with baby, you still do. So I was definitely kind of, we were, we, had, we were running a bit late, so my mother was kind of stressing me out a bit, so it wasn't the, like, most kind of fun shopping experience I've had at AP before where I just kind of like get to hang out, you know, get to talk. But yeah, at least I got to wear actually Lolita this time. Last time I wasn't wearing a Lolita, but they, they still, they still accept me. They still knew who I, they still knew that I knew my stuff, a seasoned veteran, I want to say. But yeah, it was still fun. I still did get to talk. We talked a little bit about the Milky Planet release, which was going to be happening the next day. And I won't be doing that because of actually something not one of the AP shop girls told me, but one of the girl, one of the uh, baby shop girls told me. Which we'll get more into that later. But yeah, I was kind of like, you know, I still got to talk to them. It was still nice to hear. Uh, one of the shop girls said that Milky Chan was her first dress and like to, she'd been in the fashion since 2009 so definitely a lot of old school old school love old school AP love when I say old school I'm not talking about like old school old school I'm talking about like old school AP love that that 2010 era sweet kind of deal it was just it was just fun yeah and I of course I always go for like novelties because I know I can you know buy a lot of these things online so I definitely was in the market for more you know novelties and yeah, it was actually it's a bit of an experience because there was actually, uh, you know, normal people can walk into AP, and it was, there was like a little girl there who was it was just talking about the plastic jewelry, and just I was talking about where she's like, look at this beret, and I was like, yeah, because I have to deal with kids at work, so I personally am a fan of kids. I know how to talk to kids, and yeah, so of course. She, of course, when she said that thing about the beret, I was like, yeah, I really like their berets, but they can't fit on my head sometimes. She's like, oh, that's sad. I'm like, yeah, it kind of is. Well, it's because at least with, like, the wigs, it's kind of hard. AP makes their berets, like, really, really small. So sometimes it's really hard to get them on your head. I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's get into kind of what I bought at the store. Actually... First off, I was given some some interesting relics from the past. Let's let's go into those first. Actually, they just gave me these. I think they found them in the back. They're like CDs from like a got looks like a like Lolita band of sorts. And I think this is a DVD with all their music videos and stuff. So I kind of want to see what was on these, but yeah. They're, these are both marked at like $30. This is like $49. I was like, is it okay if I just take these? But yeah, I was like, oh my god. So I'm really curious to see what's on it. I have to like bust out my CD player and I gotta bust out a DVD player of sorts. DVD players don't exist nowadays, guys. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm really curious about these, but these are super fun. I'm so excited actually for those but yeah let's get into the stuff I actually bought purchased with money oh yeah first off I didn't purchase this but this actually this little fur collar my sister got me for my birthday uh, I'm wearing a whole look yeah this is the last unicorn selfie I'm like oh my god BB&B uh, &B necklace and then this is from Lily of the Valley it's my it's my Oh god, Sweet Lacey Basket custom headdress because I don't have the actual headdress for that. And I like this one better. It's, it's a vibe. But yeah, 
I got more accessories. I got these little little candies. I thought they would go good. Definitely with the Valentine's. I was thinking, ooh, yeah, definitely Cherry Berry Bunny, which is the Valentine's Day cord plan. Will I actually go out on Valentine's Day? That remains to be seen. But yes, I got those. And let's see. Ooh, yes, I got the... Got the... Oh, strawberry, <laughs> little bunny strawberry. I think that's the one. Yeah, little notebook to go with my happy girl in one, which is up there. I do have now two AP notebooks. And I also got the last of the calendar, which is, it looks like it has, it's for 2023, but it looks like it has um, 2022 prints, which is fun. I haven't actually looked at this one yet because this was the last one they had and it was in a bag. So I'm curious what what exactly is in this bad boy let's 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 find out for the first time right now oh if we can flip it oh okay okay i'm seeing Ooh. Ooh. interesting i think this is one of the new cat prints i don't know if it's out yet one of the new cat prints which is nice this one is for i think it's love I always I have the ears for this one I was literally wearing them at the store oh god I'm like lovely present lovely present wonder I, I don't know I can't remember I'm sorry okay this is ooh. this is that that was it fresh strawberry diner D D diner strawberries that was okay <laughs> so I okay listen old day peepers I'm pretty good at New AP prints, we, we, we're struggling. <laughs> we're really struggling here. Ooh, I really like this print. This print is super cute. I, the, the name eludes me again. <laughs> 2022 prints. I'm just like, oh my God, I cannot do, I, I just don't know AP prints. I literally do not know AP prints. The lemon one. Sure. This calendar is just showing me off. It's just I cannot I cannot deal with with this. Oh, and then ooh, mermaid, the mermaid soda float. <laughs> it's fine, y'all. We don't need to know. Oh, the, the marine kitten one, bro. I just maybe. <laughs> Did I not purchase any new AP prints in 2022? That that might be a thing. Oh, the Sunny Smile Day laundry print. That one's cute. And then, ooh, come on. Oh, this one I actually saw in store. That's that's a good. Oh, the the gamer print. We gamers. <laughs> and then, ooh, October of course the spooky treats kind of print that came out. Well, that one was really cute. But I was kind of, the chiffon wore, kind of wore it out for me. I was just like, mm. Like, it's a cute print, but I'd really like if it was cotton. And then this one I saw in stores. I can't remember. The name eludes me for this one, of course. Because we just, we're a fake AP fan. We, we don't know AP. And then this one for December, which is, of course, it's like their newest Christmas print. But yeah. Super cute. I really love AP prints, even if I can't remember the names of them. And speaking with that Christmas prints, I did get these little little pin badge set because it's a little cute little novelty. I was like, oh, little buttons. I'm gonna put them in my Eda bag. It'd be adorable. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Ah yes, little bunny strawberry mug, which is still still in here. I tried to keep everything as packaged as a surprise. So it's like, oh, a second Christmas, you know. Happy birthday to me. It's my birthday in a couple weeks. So happy birthday to me. Yeah, I kind of wanted to, I like them better in real life. I know I kind of harped on like AP just doing these like normal style mugs, but I do kind of like it. It's kind of a vibe. And yeah, let's see. Okay, the last thing in here is an actual piece of clothing. It is this 
Saks blouse, which I thought was very like summery and fun. There's the back of it and boom, there's the front of it. Yeah, I just thought it was really summery and fun. I would have a lot of like blue dresses definitely that it could go to. The one I was thinking of the most was uh, Fruity Lemon, but it, it, it might, I think it still works. It is a little bit darker than Fruity Lemon, but yeah, we'll we'll work on it. We'll see what's up. But yeah, I don't actually have, oh, well, I have like the Saks long sleeve blouse. I don't actually have a Saks like short sleeve blouse, so I was like, this, this, this is gonna be useful for us. And yoy, we're gonna eat that over there. And that's that's all I bought for Big Feet. I spent pretty much as much as last time. <laughs> so about in the like 300s. So it was a pretty successful trip. And yeah, let's get on to Baby the Star Shine Bright. All right, now we're gonna talk about Baby. And I feel like, <laughs> at least for this time, Baby was at least the more exciting portion of the trip, I want to say. Maybe it's just because I the appointment was just for me, so I didn't have my sister or my mom just kind of <laughs> rushing me through it. They were in Japantown just kind of hanging out. So it was just me. There was another Lolita in there, which I kind of, you know, when I see somebody, I'm just like, hello. <laughs> I think she was traveling from out of town, too. She was uh, just checking out as I was leaving. So, like, they would have let my family in there, but I was like, after my experiences at AP, I, I kind of want to just do this on my own. <laughs> let me, let me live my life. And, yeah, I was just, you know, kind of shopping around. I feel like I got a little, lot more time than, lot, at least with AP, than I had in AP. A lot more time than last time. I kind of... Uh, I didn't talk to the shop girls last time I got a chance to talk to them this time because you know It was just me in there. So I was asking questions. It was kind of uh, They had some of the uh, Kumia's Harvest Festival in stock and I got to see so the red colorway I think they had and I think they had the navy blue colorway as well and There was a blouse that I kind of wanted to check with kind of how it looked so they were nice enough to kind of help me arrange like see what this particular book because but last had like a lot of bows here and like teddy bear I, I probably could pull up a picture for you but yeah it was a pretty good experience and I was kind of just after I, I <laughs> after a lot of stuff we were kind of just like chatting kind of like like uh one of them had been into the fashion as long as I had and so we were kind of talking about like the older days and I kind of like t we're talking about like I wanted to know like how you I was kind of like it was kind of like an impromptu interview I was kind of like how do you get a job at a little leader shop I was like what's like the vetting process for that and it seemed just kind of like any old job interview you know I was like there's not really like a place to apply online like bringing your resume into the shop and when they have hiring needs they'll reach out to you which those kind of situations, they're always just, I'm just like, they're, they're never going to get back to me, are they? But yeah, it's, and I kind of, I was like, what are like the interview questions like? Because I was very curious, like, like, like how long, like, have you been in the fashion? How, like, how often do you wear the fashion? We're kind of, so am I, like, kind of questions that kind of, and I think one of them was like, how would you describe Baby the Star Shine Bright to somebody who isn't in Lolita fashion or how would you describe Lolita fashion to someone who isn't in the fashion which I think is a really good question I my mom <laughs> explained it actually to my sister which none of them in Lolita fashion on how Angelic Pretty or how Baby the Starshine Bright is different from Angelic Pretty as a brand and me and my mom both kind of were like it's a little bit more sophisticated a little bit more like less kind of like girly girl like young girlish kind of printed and more like princess more the, really putting the e in the eg <laughs> elegance that's kind of how we described baby and yeah it was just you know really good to talk to them i was kind of like curious i would i would have liked to talk to the like the shop manager too because i was just i was just like really curious i had a lot of questions <laughs> that's kind of how i am specifically on this channel and like so much of lolita kind of like history like even as somebody who's been in the fashion since 2011 i i don't know I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, it was really kind of interesting to hear. Uh, I was like, oh well, yeah. I also my, one of my questions was how both Angelic Pretty and Baby Starshine Bright kind of 
why they chose San Francisco specifically as like the place to put down brick and mortar stores in the USA. And of course, uh, AP or Baby uh, got there first and then AP came later. And what I think it was kind of was like definitely like I think at that time in around like 2008 and 2009 is when uh, kind of Lolita fashion was peering like ramping up in the US and I feel like they could see that and one of like Little, to like, little Tokyo and like Japantown and it seemed kind of more centralized to California. I think maybe at one point did have a New York store but they closed that. And I just feel like maybe there was definitely a market for it specifically in California. But I'm sure like maybe the Bay Area key knows. <laughs> like I, 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 we can only like assume because even the shop girls didn't know. I didn't know. I was like, I I'm curious. I got questions. But yeah, it was really interesting to talk. We talked for a long time. And yeah, let's get into what I bought. Yeah, they saw me with the old AP shop. <laughs> I was like, yep, I brought this. <laughs> but they actually do, still do, the classic baby shopping bag. And they tied it with ribbons, but of course, ah, they have these little babies start shopping by ribbons. Of course, my, my, my bag was too full. <laughs> but we didn't want to go with the next size up. There is a size up from this, apparently. But yeah, let's get into this. I'll finally untie this little... Wait, a little baby ribbon, a little baby ribbon. Boop, 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 boop. All right, first, I think, ooh, yeah. So they wrapped it in tissue paper, and oh, the things have fallen out. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm like, what did I buy? Question mark, what did I buy? Because <laughs> they wrapped in tissue paper, and I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> All right, so I was in the market kind of for stuff to go with uh, my only baby dress, which is Kumia's Harvest Festival. So I definitely I got <laughs> these cute little little bows, these little clippy bows. One has Usa Kumia, one has Kumia Kumia. They're both oh the little lace <laughs> on the bows. I thought definitely thought these. Oh, and there's little bows on top of the bows. And these little charms that say baby, got the logo, oh my god, these, these are adorable. I love these. And of course I got the matching wrist cuffs as well. Ooh, and they got a little, they got a little baby bag on them. <laughs> so I got these little wrist cuffs as well, which, oh, <laughs> can we please? Yes, okay, there it is. <laughs> these little wrist cuffs with the wine kind of ribbon and of course these giant baby charms on them oh my god but yeah i was definitely like these are gonna go with um kumi service festival these are gonna go with kumi service festival and then oh my god i forgot about this <laughs> ah it's a bonnet with the what's the kumi with the bunny ears <laughs> bunny ear bonnet oh my god Actually, hold up. Can we put this on right now? This it might be a look. Let's see. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember there was a seller on Etsy that sold a bonnet that was kind of like this, and I was I was like, this is this is a vibe. Can but before I could buy it, they closed up. I think or they stopped selling it. I was like, no. Ooh. I'm a bunny. <laughs> ah, this is cute. <laughs> yeah, it's all white, so it's like a shiro, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear it with, but hopefully we'll have some stuff in the future. It, white goes with a lot of things, so oh my god. <laughs> ah, whoa, I'm a bunny. I love that. <laughs> Oh my god. These wheeze wheeze cute wheeze vibes. Alright, and the final thing in this tissue that was wrapped up in this tissue at least is this blouse, which also has <laughs> these bunny ears, which are detachable. So if I don't want to be a bunny, I don't have to be a bunny. But yeah, I got this 
blouse. It was between this blouse and the bear blouse for what blouse I kind of wanted to get. I went with this one because it is detachable. It has detachable long sleeves. So if I want to do short sleeve, I can. If I want to do long sleeve, I can. It's got the little, <laughs> little bunny ears, which are detachable as well. And I think the middle bow is detachable as well. So and it's got these really cute heart buttons. I was like, oh my God. So yeah, at this red, I feel like I could maybe swing it with kind of um, honey cake. Oh, I forgot. Honey cake is also right here. We got pink honey cake on there. Can y'all? Yeah, cause this was my actually cord I was planning to wear, but in the end I went with Milky Chan. And yes, I'm just like, ooh, this blouse. Ooh. So, yes, I can definitely wear this with Kumi's Harvest Festival. I could probably, I think, I could maybe get away with it. Like, I know it's more of a wine rather than a deep red. I could probably get away with it this blouse under some of my red dresses as well or maybe just like take the middle ribbon off and maybe well, I don't know it's got it's it got it has a lot of versatility I think this blouse specifically because of the detachable sleeves and yeah a lot of it's detachable so I think it's, it's a good blouse it's a good blouse <laughs> all right and we're getting down to the, the final purchases of my baby trip, which are the ones I'm the most excited about. Let's get the bag back. So this time, <laughs> they they were kind of on a like a kumya shortage when I went there in May. But this time, <laughs> oh man, ah, it's more kumya. You ha you don't know how how much I've wanted to just get this bad boy out of here. I kept everything wrapped up, and I, like I got back on like Sunday night. It's currently Thursday. I'm just like, my boy, <laughs> my new baby is trapped in here. <laughs> oh, and they have baby sticker as well. I was like, baby sticker, because I think last time I got more Alice than the pirate sticker, but baby sticker. Yeah, so I got the Kumi <laughs> Rucksack Mini, oh, which has the wine details, so definitely for Kumi's Harvest Festival. Little Kumi, oh my god, he's so small. Little Kumi Rucksack. And then I got this one, which is just pink. Oh, I, it, it's like straight up pink, and I was like, ah, this baby. <laughs> I, I locked eyes with it as I was entering the store, and I was like, okay. That's it. That's it. I was just like, okay. <laughs> okay. Like, I, I, I feel like I, I, in that moment, it only takes one look and I, I just knew. I was like, this baby. <laughs> oh man, this, this bad boy right here. I'm just like. <laughs> yeah, so then I got this little one. I was like, oh my Adding more kumias to the collection. So now I have two lyrical bunnies, and now I have two Usakumia. Yeah. Babies, babies. Oh wait, technically three. <laughs> we count this one. Yes. Oh my God. It's so cute. It's so adorable. Ah, little baby. And they were doing a reservation for the Usakumia rucksack, but unfortunately. They told me, they're like, if you want to do the lottery reservation, we could do it like right now. Or you, I was like, nah, I'll just do it when I get home. And they're like, you only have to fly. And I was like, nah, I'll remember. Of course, me at six going to the airport. <laughs> oh, dang it. I missed the reservation. <laughs> it's fine. We, we spent enough money. And they also had lucky bags in there. So I was, which were, we're tempting. We're very tempted by the lucky bags because I've never done a lucky bag from AP or from Baby, so I was kind of curious about what, what's it, what's, what's the lucky pack about? But, you know, it's pretty standard, it's, it's a lucky pack. But yeah, I, I am pretty happy with all of my purchases. I spent <laughs> at least 200 more at Baby, or totaling up to, yeah, like 500, so I was total, grand total of the trip will be, 
somewhere right here. I didn't spend like the entire trip and then of course, you know, me going to the Lolita shops, absolutely feral, absolutely unhinged. So yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll financially recover. We're, we're happy. We're, we're vibing. And it, yeah, um, that's all I got. No brand piece. I did. Oh yeah. I was, I think I talked, I was going, I saw this, uh, when I was in AP, I saw this pretty, really pretty, um, sax blue dress, which kind of reminded me of the sax apron that I wanted for baby. They had the white one, but I don't, I have enough white, like white aprons. I want, really want the sax blue heart, uh, kamikaze girl apron, but they, and they were nice to actually say like, oh, like kind of like we might be able to order from Japan or like message you if it comes in. And I was like, nah, I'll just wait till it comes up on like the secondhand market. Cause I feel like I see it pop up pretty, pretty like since they re-released it pretty often and at mo pretty reasonable prices. I haven't seen it going for like crazy amounts, but yeah. And I just, for some reason, when I was at AP, I just was like, it was like a really nice printed dress or non-printed dress and I was cotton and I was like Ooh. and it actually it had full back shirting too and it was like two ninety two so for an AP dress that was fairly recent very fairly decent for an AP dress. But for some reason I was just like meh I got I got <laughs> I got other things. Uh, for some reason I just feel like I wasn't in the market for a main piece. I have a lot of main pieces and I have a lot I have I have more on the way, y'all. <laughs> but I feel like, I don't know, it's just, I wasn't, I wasn't, like, feeling it, feeling it. But I do kind of want something, like, non-printed that would kind of, you know, I have only one non-printed, I think, AP dress. So I've, I'm kind of wanting to get something non-printed. We'll see. We'll see. That's, that's kind of, like, I feel like one of my lowly goals for this year. Get, get something non-printed. But yeah, overall, the trip went well. I got a lot of new accessories that I'll hopefully be able to show off in videos very soon. So yep, that is it for today's video. If you like this video or you like my content in general, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you are new. All of those good things, please. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video, whatever video that may be. I have a few ideas of kind of videos that I want to do, but if you have some ideas for me, make sure to leave a comment. I definitely will take some of your suggestions. I have, I've seen a couple of different suggestions for a uh, Lolita kind of, uh, kind of like a beginner's tutorial from me, which I'm very, I, I do want to do, but I'm just like, I'm like, I'm, I know I'm a seasoned veteran. I'm just worried if I give, I don't want to give terrible advice to new people so I'm very worried about that so yeah we'll, we'll see about that one if you're really interested leave another comment and I'll, I'll see the people that's what the people want to see I might do a community post because you know I've been trying to use the community feature a lot more and yeah that's all I gotta say for now y'all thanks for joining me see you next time bye YouTube bye <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, if you have a comment or if you have a name for my new Kumio, leave it in the comments below as well. Alright y'all, bye!